Hi there, this is part two, and I've just got one component. Now, what I would normally do is actually duplicate this plank, like holding down the control key and just copying it, and make different planks with different uh, uh, textures on it. Well, not different textures, but different parts of the texture. Um, so they look different, but they have the same shape. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because that's basically, if you watch the first part, that's easy peasy. So I'm just going to tell you about actually bending this plank and making it into a barrel. Now, there's a few things you need to know. And uh, one of the main things is that the knife tool actually creates subdivisions while you're not disturbing the UVs. So I use KL on your keyboard and I'm going over to polygon mode and I'm just gonna set a few cuts. For instance here I can actually make this a 50% cut. If you want to be exact I'm not doing that for the rest of the tutorial but uh, for instance I'm gonna put it one here one here and then chop these bits in half like that so now I got one two three four five six seven eight subdivisions that will give me enough room uh, to bend this plank if you have no subdivisions it will not bend uh, bending is of course uh, done with a bend uh, now, this is just the same as with UVs. It's like a tablecloth shifting over uh, an object. So what I do at first is open up the strength a little bit so that I know which way it's going to bend. Now, I can tell this is not the way I want to bend the plank. So I have to turn it around. Rotate R. And going into object mode and hit the R again because it didn't register. Now, while I'm turning, I'm holding down the shift key, and that will give me a 10% increment. So, this is where I am. I'll just push the bend over the plank, not the other way around. And one thing you need to know, bends stretch. In order to not stretch the plank, I don't want it to be longer. I'll just use keep Y axis length. If I go to the side view, I can tell what it's doing. And uh, I can tell that 250 divided by 2 is 125. So let's shift this over the not over the X, over the Z axis, 125. So it starts right in the middle. But I wanted to bend it on both ends. Go back to the bend, and now the mode is set to limited. Once I set it to unlimited, it will bend both ways. This looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is select a plank. This is what I want, but I want to fix the bend onto the plank. And I'm just going to go down to Conversion, Current State to Object. It will make a copy, a null node plank with geometry underneath. I'll just rip it out and get rid of the originals. And this is what we have, a plank that's bent. All right, now I want to make a barrel, so I have to put this straight. Um, let's see, yeah, the P rotation. Let's put this exactly at 90 degrees. And let's reset the pivot point. Why? Because I want to go around the barrel and not have anything screwy going on, so I'm going to reset the barrel. Pivot. Sorry, the plank pivot. And I'll just go to pivot mode, set this to zero, 
give it a return, exit uh, pivot mode, and now I got my plank. Now, um, the way I'm going to do it is uh, uh, using the array. I'm not using MoGraph this time with the cloner. I'm just using the array. And I'll just drop this plank into the array. <coughs> you can already tell it's screwy because the planks are moving outward. Right, so let's set this H because now I've already reset the pivot point so I have to revolve it around the H and I revolved it 180 degrees this is fine but uh, it's not a barrel yet now if I go down into the array I can actually move these planks together by turning down the radius, it will not turn into a barrel. First of all, there's too few planks. So let's put it on this. And let's see. Something like this, 11 planks, 12, maybe. And if I move them inward, the corners are touching, but the inside, because it's a straight plank, they're is actually a seam here. How to deal with that? You are just going to use a deformer again. So I'm just going to take it out of the array and this time I'm using a deformer called Bulge. And I'm going to drop it over the plank and I'm going to fit it to the object. Now Bulge will actually bulge the plank if you have subdivisions. I don't know how much, so I'm just going to drop it back into the array and then I'm going to click the bulge and zoom in here and let's see how far I need to go. I was pretty close, 25%. 28? Yeah, that seems about right. So here we have our barrel. Next up, I'm going to uh, actually use the previous plank to make the top and the bottom. 